I started uh, working on this piece for uh, the Dutch bass group Slagwerk Den Haag and the New York based Mantra Percussion. just written a lot of music using a lot of instruments and a lot of pitches and I, I really wanted to get a different palette, kind of go out into the desert and meditate and I wanted a very stark um, sound and um, I, I decided early on that uh, I wasn't going to use pitches at all, I was going to use non-pitch percussion and then you know I, I woke up one day and I said, you know, I just want each percussionist to play one instrument. It's going to be really um, a, a completely different challenge for me. And so I, th I thought about that for a while, and I, I came up with this idea of, of the six percussionists with um, with six instruments s subtly shifting uh, the sound from one percussionist to the next so that you heard were he hearing these sweeps going from high to low in a certain sense also the, sh the shifting among the percussion group from one instrument to the next I imagine that the sound would actually start moving around the room as the um, as the, the as the music shifted around in in, in this um, you know this uh, almost circle. And you know I was almost imagining something almost very primitively electronic, you know something where you heard the attacks, where there was a resonance, there was something, you know, um, just a different type of sound. I went to, to Amsterdam to work uh, with the Slagwerk uh, Den Haag group in, um, in June 2009. And we, you know, actually I had the music, but I didn't, and I didn't have the the instruments, and, and we went through uh, a couple of sets of instruments, and then um, the uh, leader of the group, Fader, came up with these wooden simantras, these uh, really uh, cool kind of blocks of wood that had been used by um, the great Greek uh, composer and architect, Yanis Sinakis. <laughs> We first came together in springtime 2009 to play through some sketches that Michael already uh, made. Um, so the, the notes were already there, but Michael wasn't sure yet about the instruments. Um, though he had an idea actually about the kind of quality the sound should have. And I think he was, he was looking at that already for, for an almost electronic kind of sound really dry, sharp, like computer ticks. Um, but he, he wrote an email like, okay, maybe we should use some tom-toms or snare drums, I mean, uh, low resonant instruments. And he came over and I think we put the snare drums there and the tom-toms and <laughs> we realized already in a very early stage that uh, for one hour, because the, the piece is huge, I mean, it, it, it's, it's an hour of music, I think it was simply too much. And so we went down to the basement of our storage and actually we found these huge simantras. Um, simantras are uh, Greek instruments, they're, they're used in uh, liturgic services. Uh, but a simantra is, is just a normal piece of timber wood. You can buy them in your hardware store, you just cut them and uh, for this case we used tropical hardwood and uh, we, we didn't do any extras with it, we just cut it at certain lengths and it turned out that those mantras were just perfect.
one of the most intriguing things about these instruments is the vast harmonic spectrum that exists in each one of these 2x4s. It's not like um, a marimba or a xylophone bar where the, the fundamental pitch is um, something that is the prime feature of the sound. In these 2x4s, what we find is that the harmonic spectrum uh, and all of the, the interaction that the frequencies have with one another actually contributes to the music itself because um, it's, it's almost as, as the sound is moving around the ensemble and it's being projected out into, into the, the performance space, it's almost like there's a chorus of, I, it's almost like an angelic chorus that is that's behind the sound that comes from the harmonics in each one of these 2x4s. And really that's uh, one of the most uh, amazing features um, of this piece and how the, that chorus interacts and how it shifts through uh, the progression of the music. That's the uh, origin of timber. I mean, we've been uh, with both uh, Stockford Denhag and Mantra Percussion um, working on, uh, you know, rehearsing this piece for quite a while. And just recently, um, June 16th, it, uh, the piece was premiered in the Nether Netherlands. And um, we're looking forward to a bunch of uh, U.S. performances coming up in the fall with Mantra Percussion. and. Um, I think I'm running out of things to say.